Welcome to Inside the Trash Can. There's a Minjo in there. Sour milk. High in fat, low in calcium. Not that that doesn't sound appetizing. Yuck. So if you look on the side of the milk carton. Missing! Tootie! Last seen in Banjo-Kazooie! <laughs> I love that they put that in. It's kind of weird because the whole point of Banjo-Kazooie was we have to save Tootie and then Tootie literally just disappears off the face of the earth for this game. Which is amazing. It's Spew! Uh... Canned carrots. 20% quality. Or no, poor quality canned carrot carrots. Oh, that's even worse. There's just a fish bone in here. Yuck. Uh. Mmm, cola. I have to see what this is over here. Ah. Uh, Tat, salted snack treats with extra salty goodness. Well, I mean, if you want junk food, salt is pretty important. And then over here we've got snacky fatty chalks. Uh, what does that say? I can't make out that chicken scratch. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> Gluffo doesn't get many visitors in his trash can. I'm not surprised. It stinks. I prefer to think of it as an acquired aroma. Perhaps you can help me. I'm facing eviction from my trash can by the health and hygiene department unless I clean the place up. Shall I tell you about the problem? Yes, please do. It's these filthy germs that live in here. I've been told to get rid of 50 points worth. Killing red germ scores one point. Green ones are worth two. And these nasty blue germs get you three points. Will you give it a try? Sure. These minigames are all the same. <laughs> You've got 60 seconds to kill 50 points worth of germs. Ready, three, two, one, go. I love how they're still using the witchy world uh, minigame music. These guys are disgusting. Let's just run around and wing whack them. It's pretty easy. If you see green ones, try to go out of your way for them. If you see blue ones, definitely go out of your way for them. Otherwise, just focus on the reds. Because of the large and uneven arena, it can be a little trickier than the Zelda's Hive one, but it's still pretty doable. The blue ones don't hang around for a long time. So the time limit is actually kind of strict. Still not the hardest of the minigames, though. Oh no siree. Alright, we already got the prize. No second prize, no Cheeto page for this one, just a Jiggy. Oh, Kazooie, thank you for sacrificing your health and safety for this. Great, you killed 59 points worth. I get to keep my lovely trash can, and you get to keep this. Yuck. Fancy trying for a new germ best score? No. See you later. Tell all your friends they're welcome to visit. I'm sure they're, they're welcome to visit. I don't think they're gonna want to visit, but I guess it's an option. Thanks, Guffo. <laughs> Alright, fight pad time. Okay, yeah, the egg is up here. Here we go, yeah, because this should have another Floatius Maximus creature. There he is. Alright, anything else we can do is just Kazooie for now? I actually don't know. 
This is the level I'm least familiar with by far. I think at this point, we're good. Let's just head back to the central cavern and switch over to Banjo and get him up back to that area. Thankfully, I actually know where to go now. Oh, thank goodness for leg sprain. All right. Where's the red exit? It's over here. <laughs> Stupid sausage monsters, get out of my face. Should let us soar over here. And I believe we can plant that weird, like, heartbeat seed that we found. Yeah, now it's coming back to me. Yeah, we can throw the brain seed in there. Maybe nothing comes from it. Darn it, do we have to make it grow somehow? I bet we do. How do I get to the cheese wedge, then? Take that. You killed me earlier when I was trying to get to the cheese wedge! Ah, uh, cheese wedge is all the way over there. That takes you to the trash can, I believe. Yeah. Well, nuts. Let's join back up with Kazooie, and then we're gonna go and get Mumbo's help. I think I think we need Mumbo's help before we can do a whole lot else. I can't remember how much stuff Mumbo is Fain actually affects, but it affects at least a couple things. All right. Oh yeah, back to full HP. Excellent. All right. Mumbo's skull is this way. And now we have a Globo, so we can go and enlist his help. Oh, hey, is this a Ginger or me? Oh, it's a Ginger! Wow, thanks, Mumbo! Mumbo found a Ginger for us. I hope he wasn't doing any weird experiments on it with it in that toxic goop there, but nah, Mumbo seems like a nice guy. Hey, Mumbo! Hello, Banjo. Mumbo has a big surprise for you. Ooh, I like surprises. Ooh, you have like a new power for this world? Minji Jonjo, crafty shaman impersonator. Har har har, foolish bear, you fell straight into my trap. I'm not that pathetic shaman you think I am. I'm Minji Jonjo and your worthless quest ends here. As you can see, there is no escape and resistance is futile. So this is the boss of Cloud Cuckoo Land, Minji Janjo. Bzzar! My elaborate disguise is ruined, revealing my evil cyboticness. <laughs> yeah, this is a very strange boss. It's Evil Mumbo. So you'll notice, you'll notice there were two different Mumbo skulls on this level. A red one and then a blue one. One of them has the real Mumbo and one of them has the boss. So we actually don't get... A boss remix for Cloud Cuckoo Land, we just get one for Mumbo's Skull. So just dodge his blasts, and he's actually a really easy fight. Like, a lot of people say that he's one of the toughest fights in the game. He's extremely easy. You literally just dodge all of his stuff. Eventually his stuff homes in on you, but you can also just use Wonder Wayne, and easy. And you can just run into him with Wonder Wayne.
Even then, dodging his homing attacks are not, is not that difficult. And then you can just keep Rattatat wrapping him. Oh my gosh. Top 10 anime betrayals of all time. You should have noticed something was weird in that uh, <laughs> Mumble was sleeping in his chair. This is a really cool fight, though. And there we go. Bizarre! I calculate my chances of stopping you are now minimal. Ugh. That's kind of gruesome. <laughs> but we get a jiggy for that. <laughs> How many people were expecting that when they walked through here? <laughs> Wait, no, my jiggy! <laughs> Yeah, so, Minji Jonjo. A lot of people consider him to be one of the toughest fights in the game. I, he's definitely not the easiest. And you might even consider him to be in this half that's a little tougher, because his homing attacks, I guess, can be a little tricky, but he's definitely easier than the likes of Weldar, the second dragon, Lord Wu Fak Fak, and even Mr. Patch, honestly. I consider him to be easier than those. Also, one thing to note is that there are two Mumbo Skulls, the red and the blue one. Which one has Minji Janjo is random. It'll randomly be decided when you start up your save file. And uh, so the real Mumbo could be in the red one, it could be in the blue one, it all just depends. And the only real way of knowing which one is which before you actually go up is the real Mumbo will have a Minjo in his uh, Mumbo Skull, and then Minji Janjo will have a real Jinjo in his skull. So if there's a Minjo in the skull, you'll know that that's the uh, real Mumbo, and if it's a real Jinjo, then you better prepare yourself for the fight. Oh, anyhow. So it turns out this time Red Skull had... <laughs> oh wow! Red Skull had the evil guy in it! <laughs> that's so fitting. Anyhow, now, now we're gonna go to the blue Mumbo Skull now, and that'll have the real Mumbo. And we can give him the Globo and then enlist his help in the fight for justice. Yeah, when I first played this, I I thought it was just whichever skull you entered second was the one that had Minji Janjo. Because my first playthrough, I saw the real Mumbo, and I'm like, oh, maybe, like, Mumbo's big surprise is that, like, there are two different types of Mumbo pads that he can activate in this world. Nope, there's just one. Yeah, so in this skull, there's a Minjo, so you know it's the real one. I don't know why Mumbo has a Minjo in his skull, but all right. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We've got a Globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help. By the way, did you know there's an evil cyborg, Mumbo? Oh yes, very much so. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Now, unfortunately, Mumbo gets kind of a step down in terms of his powers in this world. In the last world, he literally could bring the dead back to life. Here, his power is noticeably a lot lamer. But it's still needed in order to progress through the world, so here we go. As far as I remember, there's only one Mumbo pad in this world, and it's on that long strip of blue rock. So that's going to require us to do a bit of climbing up in here. All right, let's go through here. I remember where this area is, so we just have to walk all the way out to that little area over there. It's a shame, though. I wish we could have gotten, because Grant Kirkhope, the composer, remixed the main music for all of the worlds as the boss music for the worlds. But for Minji Janjo, you get the Mumbo theme remixed as a boss remix. I want to hear what a boss remix of Cloud Cuckoo Man would sound like. Oh, I hope this works. Rain Dance. 
Yeah, after summoning a giant golden statue, levitating things, powering them up, making water breathable, enlarging things, breeding things back to life, and m m mechanically emptying them, now Mumbo just makes it rain. But he makes this nice rainbow bridge appear, all the way to the pot of gold. Now, will this also make the seed that we planted grow? I actually don't know. Yes, okay. That's what I would thought. There we go. Now we can reach Mr. Fat. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Mumbo. Now that that is done... Oh, we can do it more than once, though. We might have... Oh. We might have to plant another seed in order to... And then make it rain dance again. Yeah, I actually am pretty sure we're going to need to do that to get to the cheese wedge. Whoops. Alright, bye, Mumbo. <laughs> I did that because that'll warp me back to Mumbo's skull and it'll be a lot faster. Remember, death is a slap on the wrist in this game. Yeah, it occurs to me, I do still have another one of those seeds. I'm probably gonna have to plant that and now backtrack as Mumbo again. So I was not as efficient as I could have been. Whoops. Mumbo's disappointed in me. Oh my gosh, the ninjas are getting faster and crazier in every world. I kind of forgot they did that. Alright, well, I think our next step then is going to be... ...trying to find a way to get Banjo over to the Cheese Wedge. Just Banjo. There will be a flight pad this way, stupid candy cane man. We're gonna use the flight pad to get to the cheese wedge. That's right, yeah, because this is where we murdered poor George Ice Cube. That kind of thing weighs on your conscience, man. Uh -oh. There we go. Yeah, we gotta plant this seed here, and now we gotta make Mumble Rain Dance again, just to make that grow as well. Alright, now I need to figure out how to get Solo Banjo up here. That's it. There's another egg. Okay, cool. We've got our plan, we can set it in motion. First, we need to have Mumbo do the rain dance. Oh my gosh, the Minjo was still running around. I guess the Minjo's like, position in AI doesn't change when you leave the area. And now the pad has disappeared, so we never need to use rain dance again. Thank you. Did I say ran dance? I mean rain dance. Bye, Mumbo.